back to 10 minutes on your mat. Um, I'm excited to be here and I'm excited to share my practice with you today. We are going to begin today uh, laying down on our backs. Make your way all the way down. Adjust my mat a little bit. Laying all the way down on your back, bend your knees. Plant the soles of your feet into the ground and then knock your knees in together. So the feet are a little bit wider than hip distance. You can rest your palms on your belly or rest them down by your sides. If it feels comfortable in your body, close your eyes. Just giving yourself this, these first few moments to check in check in and to tune in. Notice how you showed up today. Notice what you're feeling. Your next exhale, bring your knees in towards your chest, giving yourself a squeeze. Maybe you gently rock side to side. Release your knees, planting the feet back down onto the ground. Keep your left leg where it is. Interlace your hands behind your right leg as you extend your right leg up towards the ceiling, flexing the right foot as you go. Doesn't matter how bent or how straight this right leg is. We're just focusing on flexing the toes back towards your face. Maybe you're doing this practice first thing in the morning and your hamstrings are not ready. Um, if you have like a belt or a scarf handy, this is a great place to use one. Or you can just give your hamstrings a little extra love with your hands. One more inhale here. As you exhale, cross your right ankle over your left knee. Press your right knee towards the space in front of you. Draw your left knee into your chest, interlacing your hand in, hands in front of or behind your left knee. Hugging them in nice and tight. Continue to flex your right foot. Take an inhale here. Keeping the same shape in your legs as you exhale, drop both of your knees or both of your legs over to the left. I like to hang on to my leg with my left arm and then open your right arm up to a T. Take your gaze out to the right if that feels okay. Slowly as you inhale, bring everything back through center. Unwind. Hug both of your knees into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze. Release your right foot down to the mat. You can extend your left leg up towards the ceiling. Interlace your hands behind your left leg. Doesn't matter how straight or bent that left knee is, what we're focusing on is flexing those toes. And if you're doing this first thing in the morning, chances are your hamstrings are a little tight. A couple more breaths here. And slowly bend, <clears throat> bend your left knee, crossing your left ankle over your right thigh. Press your left knee towards the space in front of you. Pull your right knee in towards your chest, interlacing your hands in front of or behind your left, uh, your right shin. Sometimes lefts and rights are super confusing for me. <laughs> Take a breath here. And then both of your legs in the same shape drop to the right. You can hang on to your legs with your right arm if you would like. Take that left arm out. Gaze over to the left. Nice twist. A little bit of a hip opener. Slowly 
slowly draw your knees back through center. Uncross your legs, hug both of your knees into your chest. Gently rock side to side. And let's reach down for the outside edges of our feet for happy baby. Pulling your knees towards your armpits, the soles of your feet plant. If you want to just stamp your feet onto the ceiling. I like to rock side to side or make little circles. And also feel really nice to straighten one leg at a time. Finding the freedom to find some movement in your legs here. And then slowly, Keeping the legs elevated, bring the soles of your feet to touch for a, like a butterfly pose, Baddha Konasana, a round ankle pose. And then we'll flutter our knees and our hips with our heels in the air. So I'm holding on to my feet. And I'm shifting my hips side to side, pressing my knees forward, um, alternating each knee that press forward. Do a little side to side rock. Release both of your feet down to the mat. And bring the palms of your hands. I'm going to scoot you over a little bit. Bring the palms of your hands down by your sides, brushing your heels kind of for a little check to see where your feet are placed. Preparing for Sachibanda Bridge Pose. Bending your elbows, grounding down through your elbows, fingertips. I like to make like robot arms or bend my elbows to 90 degrees, pointing my fingers up towards the ceiling. Press into your elbows, press into your feet so much that your hips lift up off of the mat. And then slowly lower your hips all the way back. With this pose, we are pressing down, we are rooting down so much that the hips just kind of float off, off of the ground with little to no work in the glutes. And lower your hips back down. We'll do that one more time. Pressing down so much that the hips lift up. This time, straighten your elbows and interlace your hands beneath you. Shift your shoulder, shift your weight to the right so you can roll your left shoulder under. Then shift your weight to the left so you can roll your right shoulder under. Pulling the heels of your hands towards your heels. So you're really lengthening the arms, lengthening through the heart and chest. One more inhale wherever you're at. Slowly release, nice and slow, shifting your shoulders out from underneath of you. Drawing your hips down to the floor. Hug your knees into your chest, give yourself a squeeze. Maybe you draw your forehead up to your knees. You can gently rock side to side if that feels good. Bringing your hands behind your knees, begin to rock and roll the length of your spine. And eventually, roll all the way up to a seat. Crossing your ankles in whatever way feels good. Let's bring our palms to touch, thumbs resting at our heart center. Closing your eyes. Turning the corner edges of your mouth up in a grin. 